Thank you guys. Uh, my name is Johnny Damon. I've been uh, developing magic for television, stage shows, um, pretty much my entire adult life. Um, and today what I want to talk about is the psychic industry, because it's sort of like the evil stepchild of what I do. In the past few years, uh, conspiracy theories, sort of like the flat earth and uh, UFOs and everything, has sort of like become, has sort of like made it back into the into spotlight again. And it's sort of like the psychic community has sort of like piggybacked on that all the way up. Because when you find, uh, it doesn't matter what you, uh, what you think, if you find a community that sort of um, has the same uh, thought process as you, uh, you tend to think that you're onto something, right? So if you think the earth is flat and you, you find uh, 100,000 people online to sort of like agree with you, you think you're onto something, right? And so, uh, so that's, where, that's where it comes from. Uh, but I just want to say that psychic shows for entertainment are fine, right? That's what I do for a living. And um, so I just want to say that that is fine. Um, you know, done underneath a proscenium march like this, uh, people know that they're coming to see a performance, right? They, they know that they're coming to sort of like see a show, right? So, um, so yes, you know, you, you put, put aside your disbelief for a second, you enjoy the show for what it is, right? I mean, nobody's going to the Fast and Furious movies and thinking Vin Diesel is actually doing what he's doing, right? If you just sort of like put your disbelief to the side for a second, you can, you can, um, you can enjoy the show, right? But it's, it's when people start to say like it's for real is when it uh, becomes kind of damaging and, and um, just not good. So, but because why do people uh, go to see a psychic in the first place? They go on when something is weighing heavy on them, right? And, you know, if you lost someone or, um, you know, these things can be very, uh, very heavy burdens to deal with, right? So, you know, it could be that, or it could be something that um, as simple as you don't know, somebody who's uncertain about the future, don't know um, what to study in college, doesn't know what to, which college to go to, um, that's going to shape the rest of their life. So, it's, you know, these can be very, um, very sort of heavy things to deal with, right? And if someone can come to you in that moment of vulnerability, right, and then they say, I'm the one that has all the answers, to all of life's complex questions, right? People will flock to hear that. It's part of our nature and it is inescapable for us to find these answers, right? But why do we believe, why do we believe them anyway, right? Because the mystic arts are, are shrouded in secrecy. So if somebody says that they're talking to your dead grandmother and, they can't, and you can't immediately prove it, like disprove it, you have to agree with them because there's no other information for you to go on, right? So I will say right now, there has never, in the history of humanity, been a single case of a, of a scientifically proven case of someone having paranormal or supernatural psychic ability. Never happened, right? The James Randi Educational Foundation has, for, for decades, been uh, offering a $1 million challenge to anyone who can prove under, under controlled scientific testing and experimentation that they have these abilities, right? And I was very fortunate to know James before he died. And, um, so we had hundreds of participants, applicants come in. Uh, we tested them, and we still have the money to this day. So you can, you can see the, the videos are online. It's, it's hilarious. You can look at it. But um, so it's a uh, it's it's, uh, it's it's a thing like that. But it's um, people's um, their their own uh, what they experience is what sort of like shapes what, what uh, their their own their own experiences what sort of shapes their their uh, belief system more than what you can sort of tell them, right? So today um, we have someone that, that, that's on stage right now. I want to show you guys like how easy this can be, uh, sort of like do this. So let's bring you up on stage and uh, give, give her a hand. She comes, okay? Give her a hand. Um, I'm gonna have uh, you just sit right here for me. I'm gonna mic you up real quick. So yeah, just go ahead and uh, sit right there for me. And um, can you just tell us your name so that Stacey? was it? Stacy. Stacy. So Stacy. Great. Nice to meet you, Stacy. So Stacy, um, I haven't set anything up with you beforehand. I haven't met you before, is what I'm saying, right? So everything is all good. I have a blindfold for you right here. I need you to pop that onto you as quick as you can for me right there. Let's pop that onto you. So blindfold for a couple of reasons. I don't want you to sort of think that I'm just going to be looking at um, at Stacy's like reactions or whatever to this bit. Um, so she's like that, just there. I'm going to come back to Stacey in a second, right? So if you've ever been to a psychic reader, cold readers, or, or what they're usually called, right, you sort of see that um, there are certain areas of life that psych, um, people's interests naturally tend to fall, right? So um, finance, right? Friends, right? These are all classic sort of um, 
Uh, it's uh, what, what Psychic readers focus on. Future work, goals, dreams, so on. Um, the list is, is, on, is on and on. I mean, there's literally hundreds of things that people can, um, can think about, right? For instance, travel, right? If I was to pick travel right now, um, I would imagine a recent plane trip to uh, Vegas that we did. Um, the bumpy landing as we arrived into McCarran International. Uh, the driver that picked us up, what car it was, uh, the driver's name, the hotel that we stayed at, uh, the room that we were in, and all of the, the different um, features about the room and everything. So each one of those cards bearing a category heading, right? And each one of those category headings suggesting to you, giving to you a whole list of um, ideas and uh, of ideas and um, sort of like um, topics that we said uh, she's going to use to form a picture. Right? This is exactly what she's going to do for me in a second. Right? So as you, as you are right there, can you remove the blindfold for me now? Yep, remove the blindfold, just put it on top. Yep, right there. And um, can, So we have the stack of cards right here. Can you just come over and can you uh, cut the cards for me uh, just in half? Yeah, I just cut the cards in half. Yep, and I need you to uh, have a look at the card for me. And uh, focus on the card, keep your eyes on it. I need you to read the card for me, but sort of like don't show them what, what, what you got, right? So I need you to read the card for me right now. I need you to, uh, to form a picture for me um, of all the ideas and images that's su suggested to you by that category heading, all right? So just go ahead, read the card, keep reading it, and, um, um, and form a picture for me in a second, right? So to do this, uh, so you're all gonna guess what it is that she's thinking of, right? This is the idea, and we're all gonna get it, all right? So to do this, very simple, all I need you to do is just um, sit uh, with your feet flat on the floor, put your hands in your lap, and just sort of like relax, and uh, we'll do this, right? So you, we've all, so this whole thing is about rapport, okay? And you, you all know what, what rapport is. It's the ability, to, like when you're in a conversation with someone, and you just know that they're about to say, oh, I better get going. Because the rapport gets broken and you know that they're about to say it before they say it, right? This is what this is. And if you can sort of uh, harness this, this, um, this feeling of, of rapport, it's amazing what you can tell about people, all right? So we all do it, but this is just like another version of that, all right? Um, one more time, your name for me? Stacy. Stacy, okay, Stacy. Stacy, keep focusing on the card for me. Um, don't take your eyes off of it. Um, just form this picture for me, right? Um, just yes or no into the mic. Do you have uh, a picture for me with the, all the details? Can you remember the picture? Yes. 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 Okay. Good. Great. Can you put put the blindfold back on for me? Yeah. Just pop the blindfold back on. And um, <clears throat> yeah. So your your job for me, Stacey, right now is whatever this picture is, right? These details, these images. I need you to project it onto the audience for me, right? I need you to just sort of like imagine yourself uh, projecting this, the, this information. I'll be very clear when I want a detailed answer from you, Stacy. Otherwise, it will be yes or no answers. Does that make sense? Okay. So just yes or no answers. Okay, great, yes. So, um, so right now, I need you all to just sort of like tune in, see what Stacy right now. Um, Stacy, uh, this, this, uh, this picture that you have in your head, There's a feeling that's associated with the picture. Can you say just out loud what, what the feeling is that you have with this picture? Happy. You're happy, okay. Um, are you indoors or outdoors? Outdoors. Okay. Can you, is, is, is there a place that, that, that you're in in, the, in in this picture? Just yes or no, is there a place? Yes or no? Um, like a building or? No, just like a, a location? There's a location. Okay, yeah. Well, can you say the location that you're at? The beach. It's the beach, okay. You guys all getting this, right? You know, you're doing very well, Stacey. You're doing very well. People are picking this up. Um, okay. How old are you in this picture? Stacy, yeah, I know. That's one. Okay. Um, you're doing very well. You're doing very well, Stacy. Um, this, there's a, there's a specific date that you're thinking of. Yes, there's a specific date that you're, that you're at the beach. Yes. Yes. yes? What, what is this date? July fourth. Yes. Okay. You guys are all getting that, yes? Okay, all right. Um, I'm trying to think that this was like a, like a childhood kind of memory. Did you pick the childhood card? Yeah, yes. Okay, yes? You picked the childhood card? Okay, yes. That's it right there. Okay, good. Um, okay. Uh, 
You just think about, the, the, are you with any people? Yes. Yes, okay. You guys all, get, get the people in your, in your mind right now for me. Um, are you with any friends? Yes. How many? One. Okay, one. Okay. Are you also with your family? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, just think of the image for me right now. Just get the image. Okay. You're with some animals. You're with some dogs? Yes. How many? Two. Do you remember what colors they were? Don't say that. Don't don't don't, don't say it yet. But um, okay. Y'all y'all get the um. Y'all get the colors of the dogs. In your mind, okay? Y'all got something? Can you say the colors of the dogs for me? Yellow and white. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're good. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, let's. Uh, are you Are you doing anything in, in this in this picture? Just yes or no? Yes. Okay. Can you describe to us um, what it, what What are you doing? Did, did you did, did you do something? Yeah. Just t tell us what you did. Um, I'm on a surfboard. Oh, is your What's your first time? Yes. Oh, it was the first time. Okay, yes. Okay, all right. It was the first time. Okay, yeah, but it's on a surfboard, yes? Yes? Yes. Yes, okay, good. Um, let's, uh, let's wrap this up now. Uh, can you see anything else around you? Can you see any, just yes or no? Can you see anything else around you? Um, no. No? Was anyone barbecuing, though? Can you remember? Was anyone what? Was anyone barbecuing? Maybe? Oh, there's definitely barbecue. Oh yes. Okay, good. So there was definitely that. Okay. Okay, good. Um, I think I, I think I'm gonna stop it there. Um, yeah, we got we got a lot. Okay. So I, I guess Stacy, you did awesome. Uh, you can pop the blindfold off for him, for me right now. Need to pop the blindfold off. And that's Stacy, everyone. You can give her a hand. Yes, Stacy, you're just there. Yes. You can have a seat. You can have, you can head back over there right now. Okay, for me. Excellent. Fantastic. Brilliant. So. In all honesty, never said anything up with AC beforehand, and um, I have no psychic ability whatsoever, I can be honest with you, okay? But something very interesting, I'll just wrap up, wrap up real quick with you guys right now. Something very interesting that you guys all did right now, right? About a vast majority would have, would have done something right now, right? You would have all convinced yourself about what you think was happening up here. Right? Whether you think I set something up with Stacey, whether you think I'm genuinely a mind reader, or you know, if, we, if somebody was in my ear cueing me about what, what she was thinking or something, right? So you all would have done that, all right? A vast majority of you, by any chance, right? And this goes back to something that I want to touch on right, right, as I, right at the ending right here. So it goes back to something that psychologists know all about, all right? It's, all, it's called, it's a phenomenon, it's a frailty. It's a mistake in our evolution, actually. Um, it's called argument from ignorance. Psychologists know all about it. All right, and um, it's like uh, argument for ignorance. It goes like this: You see someone uh, divulge information from someone who they, they, they couldn't possibly know. All right, so you think, I don't know how he did that. He must be psychic. Or you see a twinkling lights in the sky. I don't know what it is. It must be aliens from another planet. All right, but if you don't know what it is, that's where the conversation should stop. You can't then say anything after you say you don't know what it is. All right. <laughs> And so we, you, you've, seen it, you've seen it in every, everyday life, right? COVID comes around, everyone has an opinion. War in, war in uh, Ukraine, everyone has an opinion, even though they don't know what's going on, right? If there's anything that you want to take away from my talk tonight is that we need, to, uh, we need to recognize this in ourselves. We need to recognize when we don't know something, we can't then say that we know what it is, right? So it's, it, it goes back to our, 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 you know, our, our evolution as well, right? It's, a, it's actually a, a, step in, a step from our evolution. It's a survival instinct, right? Because if you saw half a, a saber-toothed tiger coming around the corner, you didn't need the other half to come around for you to tell you to run, right? So, we have, so we're, we're hardwired to learn about, to know, to, to know what is, uh, is happening around us, right? We're hardwired for that. This is something that we need to unlearn when it comes to, to deciphering these things, right? Because the stories that we tell ourselves are way more convincing than anything that we can ever, that we can ever learn. So always require hard evidence, be skeptical, 
And I just, yeah, and that's what I was saying, like, don't stop trying to figure out what the thing is, right? Definitely run the experiments. Make sure that you get, you get the data right. Make sure it's reproducible. Make sure you know that it is actually a fact. So, always remember, extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. Thank you, guys.